Okay, so question number eight is to write the complete electron configuration of krypton using the periodic table. Express your answer in complete form in, in order of increasing orbital. So again, we need to write an electron configuration. And the first step is to divide our periodic table into the different sections. So we have the S block, which are the first two columns here. The P block is shown in green. And the D block are the middle transition metals. And the F block are the last two rows, the lactonides and actinides. So let's find krypton on the periodic table. You can see that it is one of the noble gases. And starting from hydrogen, we move left to right across the periodic table, writing the row number followed by the block letter. So I have the rules written here. So once we get to the D block, we write the row number minus one. And then once we get to the F block, we write the row number minus two. And then we can show how many electrons are in each orbital using superscripts. So let's look at krypton. Its atomic number is 36. So starting from hydrogen, I write the row number, which is 1, a block letter, which is 2s. And then to show how many electrons can fit in the 1s orbital, we put the superscript of 2. So a maximum of two electrons is able to fit in the s orbital. So moving down to the next row, we write row two, block letter s, and again, only two electrons can fit here. Then when we move across, we go to the p orbital. So row two, block letter is p, and the p orbitals can hold a maximum of six electrons. So we can write 2p6. Next row is 3s2. Moving over, we write 3p6. And then 4s2. And then once we get to the d block, you'll notice that the row number is minus 1. So instead of row 4, we write row 3. D, and the D block is able to hold a maximum of 10 electrons. So we write 3D10, and then we move across to 4P, and krypton is at the very end, so we write 4P6. So now if we see what the junior tutor said, they said that krypton has an, elect an atomic number of 36. We then use the periodic table below as a guide in writing the electron configuration. Okay, so this electron configure uh, this periodic table, uh, it's kind of hard to read, but it's, it's pretty helpful because they write out all of their electron configurations and how they end off. So this is interesting, uh, but you'll notice that with the transition metals, they wrote the 4s1 uh, orbital coming before the 3d orbital. So sometimes, well most of the times with transition metals, our 4s orbital would actually be lower than our 3d orbital. So we sometimes have to be careful with that, especially when we have to remove electrons or add electrons because, for example, if we had like copper plus and we removed an electron, we wouldn't remove an electron from the 3d10 orbital. We would remove it from the 4s1 orbital. So you just have to kind of be careful in writing the orders uh, of your electron configuration. Uh, but anyways, the junior tutor said, electron configuration is 1s2, 2s2, 2p6, 3s2, 3p6, 
and they wrote 3d10 first so this is also what I mean it can be lower in energy than the 4s orbital and then they wrote 4s2 and then 4p6 okay so this solution is correct